how, how much fun was your day? You know, bounce back from game one, you know, yeah. seeing your weekend, how much, how, how yeah. fun was it all? Today was just so fun. Um, it was so cool seeing different people get different opportunities. Emily got to get in there and pitch. Ailey pitched great. Um, Michaela Walker got in that bat and got a hit. It's just amazing to see like the team come together and like the team be ready for their number to be called because we're that that deep of a team and that anybody can go in at any moment and make an impact. So it was, was really cool. Sorry. <laughs> what was working for you today in the survey? Honestly, I was just going out there and just like be gutsy. That was just my only thing. Like I know my stuff is good, so I just have to go out there and just like be gutsy. They're a good offensive team. I knew that they were gonna get hits, um, so I was just kind of going in there, just trying to like win one pitch at a time. Do you show some uh, some resiliency in accepting and uh, coming back from that home run, get close now, can kind of talk about this moment? Yeah, I mean. Kuma was a, is a great hitter, so um, when she hit that, I was like, well, at least her offense got me, you know, two runs instead of one. So then I was like, well, I just need one more out. So I just, you know, had to, like, buckle down and get that last out. Were you kind of emotional, kind of having the family here for senior day and everything? Going yeah, on? so my family doesn't get to come very often. So um, I think this is, like, the fourth time in my five years that my family was able to come. So it was pretty emotional for me. It was super cool that they got to, like, be here and witness the game. And, um, yeah, it was a really good day. As part of that ceremony, did you share a moment with Beth? Did she tell you anything? I mean, me and Coach are pretty open. It's pretty known how we feel about each other. I mean, I wouldn't be the person or woman I am today without her, and um, I would do anything for her and her children. So um, everything's kind of emotional. It's just we were talking about it earlier um, this week that we can't believe that you know my journey is coming to an end here. But I'm very thankful for this program and for Coach Beth. How big is it to get another series win like this against a top 15 team with the place you come? Yeah, I think it's a huge, huge momentum shift for us. You know, they're a great offensive team. They can pitch, they play defense. They're just a great team all around. So being able to come in and um, play with them and compete with them, and I think it's just a great to go into the SEC tournament, like that we are that good and that we can go a long way in the SEC tournament and try to win it. All right, Georgia, how big did that ball look today? Um, honestly, I was just trying to do, like, my teammates justice. Allie pitched a great game in the first game, and I think coming out for game two, we just knew it was important to get on the board early. Georgia's a great hitting team, and they got on the board first, and it was important for us to respond. And it's going to be a perfect senior weekend to get the win, to get a home run, and you know, hitting. I mean, this is everything that's worked well for this weekend. Yeah, I think for us as a team, it just was about showing us to ourselves that we're good enough to do this. I think we needed this confidence boost going into postseason, and now Coach says we're 0-0, zero and, zero, and this part of the season is done, and now we're moving on to bigger and better things, and I think we're going to take this momentum right with us. Tell us about the emotions of this whole weekend. What was it like? How did you compare your expectations? It exceeded expectations. I think getting to play at Tiger Park for five years has been absolutely a blessing, and then to end it with a game like this and a series like this, it doesn't get much better, and I think from – all three of us, this was a perfect ending to what the career of Tiger Park has been. Um, that home run may or may not be your last in Tiger Park. Did you kind of savor it a little bit more on that trot? Uh, I don't know if I savor it. I didn't think it was going to go over. So the wind was friendly today. Usually those kind of knock down at the fence. So I think Tiger Park gave me one last home run just to say goodbye. So it was nice to have that. You haven't had a one in a while, so how good was it to kind of get that before things really start to matter in town? It was, it was nice. I think Georgia had a nice matchup for us. Like. I know for my swing, the matchup was really nice and kind of just do what I needed to do on some pitches just to execute on. So that was really important going forward was just to lean into my strength a little bit and that one I just got a hold of and it kind of took off for me, which was really nice. And your, your pitching and your defense, how how good were they to hold Georgia to what they put up on the offense? How, how impressive was that performance? I mean, Georgia's offense is one of the top in the entire country. So for us to go out there and I think hold them to four runs, five runs across the entire weekend was huge for us. And I think it just gives us confidence and shows us belief that we need, that we can go out there and compete with these upper echelon teams. And Georgia's a great Super Regional World Series caliber team this year. And for us to go and compete with them and dominate them in the last game was amazing for our team. Kind of going off that, it surely just builds confidence for your young pitchers knowing that they're going to be needed at some point during this postseason. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, how do you build confidence for them? Yeah, 100%. I think they got a little bit of taste of it in the OU game where the pressure was on, the lights are big, and this was no different. And I think they just competed their little butts off for us. And that's all you can ask for in that situation and let the older offense go to work for you. And they gave us enough time and gave us enough breathing room to where we can really get going for them. And then they don't have to go back out there in the seventh inning, which was nice. Good to have the family out here today for all the festivities and such. Oh, yeah, I think Allie Kilpone, I think her mom's seen her pitch one game. So this was really, really special. And to have her go out there and pitch a two, three hitter was just phenomenal. I think all of us 
Tiger Park is a home and our family just coming here and puts the cherry on top and what a way to go out. As far as your team, don't you guys uh, how fun was this weekend with you know, having to continue for the seniors? Yeah, it was incredible. And then to see, you know, a couple of the seniors have the days they had today, to see Georgia Clark have the day she had and Allie Kilponen have the day she had. It just is really special and to an awesome five years that they've spent here at LSU. How nice was it to have all the family in the house here today? Yeah, it was great. I thought tons of family, tons of friends. I thought we had a ton of good support. So um, we'd love to see them back here in a couple of weeks. Allie touched a little bit on the relationship between the two of you guys. Uh, your daughter was here with us, talking to us. Kind of how special has it been building that relationship over the past five years? Definitely. It's truly been one of the joys of my career to coach her. And just, um, she's been like a sponge. I mean, everything I've ever asked her to do, she's done it. Um, and I think she's one of the most improved players we've ever had in the program because of her buy-in to what we were asking her to do. What was kind of the, the strategy with your pitchers in this last night? Don't let them get comfortable. Just try to not let them get comfortable. You know, it's it's crazy to think that you're up eight to one, and if there's one team in the country that can come back in that spot, it's the University of Georgia. So just continue to keep them off balance, make them feel uncomfortable, and use every arm we have if we had to. How impressed were you by you know, the pitchers being in Georgia for what they did? I'm impressed that they're ready when their number's called, even when it hasn't been called a lot. I'm impressed that they've never stopped working this entire season. Um, they've never given up, they've never cashed in, they've never taken a day off for a moment like this, and then they're ready when their number's called. And it's pretty incredible to think about what an Emily Casanova has done to be ready for this moment. I mean, you need to win a couple more down the stretch here, but the opportunity to host the Super Regional is kind of still on the table. How important would that be to continue to play games here as long as you can? I mean, yeah, we, we love Tiger Park. We love Tiger Park. We'd love to be in Tiger Park, but whatever happens, we'll be ready to go. We'll play whoever they ask us to play, wherever they ask us to play it. Do you think regardless of what happened in the SEC, that y'all are you know, deserving of it on top AC? I think we've got a really strong resume, I think, and a really tough strength of schedule to win 40 games and to do what this team's done. I think they've battled through some adversity, you know, without Taylor Pleasance for a huge portion of the season. I think they've done a good job of just showing that we have all the pieces and parts and, you know, we have what it takes. We talked about Allie, but Jordan, how what is she in the program and how how did that um, how did her performance today how did that yeah, she's fought for us every step of the way. You know, she fights for every pitch, every at bat, every teammate, and she fights for me, which is cool. I've never, you know, felt like she has not believed in what we're doing, and she's had my back the whole way. If something happened to me, I would call her first. Like, she's got our back and um, just believes in what we're doing and believes in this program, and it, it's special to have women like that, especially nowadays when there's, you know, so many voices and options and things. Like, she's been bought in since day one. Did you kind of repay that buyback when you challenged the steal that you had in the first game? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I did think about it. She felt so strongly about it. You know, she's got my back. If she feels strongly about something, I'm going to have hers too. What does this mean for the confidence of your team going into the season? Yeah, I think it means everything. And I think we felt like we were just one timely hit away. You know, and it's pretty cool to think about just that one timely hit in game one opens up the floodgates for, you know, a nine-run performance here in game two. Just one, you know, hit by McKenzie there, just flared in, and then all of a sudden you see nine runs. So I think we were just waiting for that one moment, and there it is. Yeah, we talked a lot about seniors, but she has a big hit to put you guys ahead, ultimately drives in the runs you need to win. She has to save on the right field. It, the seniors had the spotlight, but when you have players like that step up, how much easier does it make to win games? Yeah, she's been big for us. She was big for us last weekend in Alabama, too. Had a huge day on Saturday at Alabama. So she's done a great job for us, both offensively and defensively. I, I feel good when people challenge her arm because I know it's going to be a close play. She really can grow. She's got a great arm and just, you know, great knowledge of what's happening out there in right field. So uh, she's playing great, and I'm excited for her.